Hello my fellow geeks, I'm Mark and today on Elite Geek we are going to talk about the Sovel SV06 printer. I have a Prusa Mark III S I've been using for a while but I needed another one in order to up my production and they are just really expensive. I just, it was just really hard to pay for another one of those so I thought I'd look at another option. With a little bit of research, I found the Sovel SV06. I actually really like Sovel. I've used multiple of their products before for other projects, but never one of their traditional filament printers. But if you've seen the SV06, you can't deny it looks just like a Prusa Mark III S, which really isn't a problem because it's an open source design. They've made a few changes to it, but I had to find out for a quarter of the price, could it get the job done that I needed? I checked some other reviews and the main complaint about it is how loud it is. So we're going to talk about that. I've actually got it preheating right now so you'll be able to see my uh, time skips based off of the temperature. But that's part of it. It's preheating and this heats up really fast. That's the part, first part of my review I wanted to talk about. Really impressed with how fast this printer heats. So when I go, some printers I've had before, you just have to wait a while. You just plan on that, and that's not the case. It heats up really fast. A lot of the reviews that I saw said that you need to grease the bearings in this. The issues looked very similar to how the Prusa came, where the Prusa that I had just came with oil. So while I was building it, I actually fully greased them. Not a big deal because it took me nine hours to assemble that, and that was one of the steps that had to be done. This took me maybe... 15 minutes to assemble it was pretty much all ready to go but because of that it makes it very hard to get into the bearings there are other videos on youtube that show you how to grease the bearings so i'm not going to cover that i wanted to try it first though before i grease the bearings i was just planning on having to do it but i wanted to try it beforehand and i was very desperate for it to get some prints done so like okay well we'll handle that later there we go. I wanted to wait for it to start printing so we could actually go on and you could see it working while I talk about it because it's going now and you know what? You can't hear that, I'm sure. Right now, the loudest part on it is the power supply fan. This is the first layer and it's slow, but I had my Prusa before in the same spot and part of the reason I needed another was because I couldn't print overnight because it was too loud. I could hear it in my bedroom right above here. I, I can't hear this printer at all. I expected to only be able to run it during the day. Also, not the case at all. I have, it, it, you can't hear it even a little bit. It's much, much quieter than my Prusa. And again, I didn't do anything with the bearings on this. This is just how it printed. I actually picked up a, a sound meter reader just to be able to prove it. So let's take a look at that. My other requirement is I had to get it working in Prusa Slicer because of the surface finish available in Prusa Slicer. So this is a 3D part that I'm manufacturing and that's the Hilbert Curve surface finish. And this is a cup holder for a Nissan 350Z. And you see the top of this, it does not at all look like a 3D printed surface. There's no lines. There's no nothing. It has a textured surface just like it had been molded. So I had to get it working in this. I was able to do so with a Prusa profile and it was almost perfect right out of the box. So this is one printed on the Prusa and this is one printed on this uh, Sovel SV06. I am very happy with the finish. One thing I did have, as you can see the lines here, I had some problems with some filament, so I had to put it through a filament dryer, and it did seem just a little more sensitive to filament quality than the Prusa. But for what it's gonna be used for, it looks outstanding, and it is a quarter of the price again of the Prusa. Only thing I did to help silence this, as you can see under here, I have a concrete block that I've got it sitting on. So it's on a folding table, concrete block on it for, I think I paid $4 so I could get a bigger one. It's 18 by 18 inches. Turns out outstanding. So I didn't wanna make this a long review. There are a lot of reviews about this already, but I saw those complaints about both the quality and the mainly the noise is the main complaint people had. And I was concerned about that. And it's printing here, like it's, it's just, I can't believe how quiet it is. I don't know if they have changed things, they've redone them. Now this is, I've, right now I have a, just doing a benchy. But even with the cup holders that I do, I don't hear it in the room right next door. So very, very happy with this printer. 
Now we have the Sobel SV6 Plus. There's a much larger model coming. So that'll be interesting. I, I may pick up one of those. I really don't need it to be bigger for what I'm printing. That's the perfect size for my cup holders. And I run it 24 seven. I've been running it 24 seven for almost a month now with no issues at all. Haven't had a single problem. One bit of advice for when you're leveling it is just follow the instructions that come in the book exactly. I ended up accidentally doing things out of order a couple of times. And when I went back and started over and just did it exactly in the steps that they mention, it's worked perfectly. Everything sticks just the right amount, but it's easy to pop off. And I've had no leveling problems at all. You can see my uh, plate is a little bit lighter right there in the middle where the first couple layers when I put it on, it ended up being too low. And I removed some of the paint lines from it, uh, from that grid, but it had, didn't affect the surface at all. The plate that comes with this seems to be really nice. And I know that's not always the case, but for printing PETG, which is what I'm doing exclusively on this, it works absolutely perfect. That's it, you know the drill. Leave a like and a comment down below. Let me know how your printer is, your SV06, if you have one. And until next time, remember, if you're gonna be a geek, be an elite geek. For you'll find my flaws outweigh my talents any day. But if you're alright with that, we should be fine.